Oh boy. Hey guys, my name is Joseph Curtis, and if you love movies just as much as me, you have come to the right place. Now do me a huge solid and click that like and subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on the following social platforms, that would be great as well. Now let's start talking Priscilla. I love Elvis Presley, and when I heard that they were going to make a film directed by Sofia Coppola, who's made some okay films and not okay films, he's been in The Best Godfather. I don't know if you've heard. She's directing this film that's essentially entirely in the perspective of Priscilla Presley. And it's based off a book that I think she wrote. So I'm not gonna act like I have all the facts and I know everything about their story. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly, the Elvis. All I know is that I love Elvis and I love his music and that's pretty much it. That's all I knew about his story. And then last year we had the amazing film Elvis with a fantastic performance by Austin Butler. He was incredible. Now with this we have Jacob Elordi. He's that one sexy dude from Euphoria. How does he do? He's all right. It, it took some adjusting to get to his, you know, accent, but he's okay. And performance-wise, he's great. The actress who plays Priscilla, Kaylee Spanny, is fantastic in this role. Stoic performance that, that has a lot of maturity. And that's the highlight that I can really say about this film, is the performances and you really feel the loneliness perspective of Priscilla's life. Big, vast house big vast property the life of presley graceland now this movie does tackle intimately the relationship between presley and priscilla and it's almost in a way where you're watching a predator about to destroy its prey within the first 5 10 15 minutes it gives off this weird eerie thriller because Essentially, Elvis met Priscilla when he was 24 and she was 14. The way this film and script is laid out is very spiteful to the character of Elvis. There are moments where you can see love and affection, but it's very, very few far in between. This is not a film that's supposed to highlight Elvis in a good light. It's to show a woman who has to deal with a man that acts like a child. And even more so, she acts more mature than him, and she's 10 years younger than this dude. Now granted, he's had a life where he's been thrown all over the place. He was misused by his manager. He had drugs in his life. Not saying that there's excuses, because I'm assuming, even though this is her story, there's some truth to it, but this is Hollywood, and they usually like to exaggerate things like they did in this film. I don't want to get controversial. I, I, I feel like that could lead into a very weird road when it comes to just simply a movie review. All I'll say is, I took this film, like I took that film, with a grain of salt. Overall, my biggest issue with this film is the pacing. It is slow, and I've watched Killers of the Flower Moon, and that movie was executed flawlessly for a three and a half hour runtime. This is about an hour and 50, hour and 53 minutes, and it felt almost as long as Killers of the Flower Moon. I was checking my phone every five to 10 minutes, and I love a good slow burn, don't get me wrong, but this movie, was trying to connect me to characters that I couldn't really connect with. You show me a relationship that's as complex as Priscilla's and Elvis. You show me the devilish side of Elvis, but you never really showed me enough of their romance and what brought them together, what made Priscilla stay for as long as she could. And I really wish we could have gotten more moments of that mixed in with the devilish side of Elvis. Cause then I really would have felt that final five minute climatic turn for her character to leave in a much more emotionally groundbreaking way. And instead the movie just feels dry. And with that being said, I'm going to give Priscilla a solid six out of 10. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and also don't forget to be blessed.